Hello and good evening. Just making a short video showing you how to use the Adobe Scan app on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and pull it on up. So you'll open the application, switch it to the camera, and it will automatically look for documents and will automatically detect them. So you can see it automatically captured the document and all you got to do is hold it steady. It will automatically catch it, crop it, and uh, take the photo. It's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and flip it on over so that we can get the back side of the document. Like I said, it will do the, all of this automatically, which is pretty cool. And there it is. And it, you can manually crop it, so you can crop out the pieces you don't want to if you so desire. But I'll go ahead. It's, it's auto cropping. It's pretty accurate from my own experience. And we are done scanning. So you'll scan all the pages. When you're done scanning, you'll go ahead and hit the bottom right corner and it'll let you proofread it. So let's go ahead and proofread that. Please make sure it is legible and that you can read it. And if you want, you can go ahead and title it by hitting the little pencil. So let's go ahead. Let's call this, I don't know, test run. So feel free to name the assignment. Uh, Try and pick a name that's relevant once you've named it and proofread it and make sure it's all hunky-dory. You can hit the save PDF button and it will go ahead and save it as a PDF. So pretty awesome app. There are tons of document scanners. Uh, if you just look in the uh, app store, there's tons of them to choose from. If you're an iPhone user, I recommend the Adobe Scan app. If you're an Android user, I recommend the Google Drive app because the Google Drive app comes with a document scanner and automatically loads it to your Google Drive account, which is pretty nice. iPhone users, uh, the Google Drive app does not have that feature, which is a bit of a bummer, which is why we're using an Adobe Scan app. Now, one problem with the Adobe Scan app is when you download it, iPhone users, it will ask that you sign in either with Google, Facebook, or Apple ID. Uh, if you choose to sign in with Google, do not use your student Gmail address. It will not work. Uh, I'm assuming it's programmed that when you select the Google option, it's looking for a Gmail address. But of course, your student email ends at at georgiasouthern.edu instead of ending with at Gmail, which is probably why it doesn't work. So if you're going to use this app and sign in via Google, make sure you're using a Gmail address that is not your student Gmail. Otherwise, it won't work. Anywho, it's done scanning, so we can go ahead and save it. So we hit the share button, hit share a copy, it'll load it up, scroll on down. If you're on an iPhone, hit save to files. You can save it on your device or on your iCloud. I recommend saving it to your device and hit the save button. And it is ready to turn in on Folio. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.